לעשות. This transition that you say is kind of convoluted. What should we do in it? Rav, again, what the mind doesn't do, time does. Meaning a person continues through all these processes that he's usually going through. He studies, he writes, he shoots uh, um, videos, he goes to disseminate, all sorts of things. He works you know, for his family, he goes to work, and he also feels that he lives in a certain with a certain inertia, a certain momentum that keeps him on the path and also because he doesn't know what else to add. He hears, and he wants to identify with this new path, but he still has no, nothing to do it with, a lack of feeling, lack of understanding. He goes a bit more into beastliness sometimes. Uh, out of uh, lack of spiritual discernment, but it passes. Nevertheless, he is in, protected by the big group and the creator and the teacher. No reason to be afraid. So, so do you have to do anything? Rav, no, just continue as much as possible. Continue. Physically, corporeally, all those things. Even artificially, like a machine. It's possible that there are such states that go on a, uh, on a person where he comes, he sits, like a like a sack, he does these actions, but there's no participation of his of his heart. That's how it is. But this this um, passes quickly. A few weeks uh, go by and it will change. But it can be truly a few weeks, a few weeks time. Look, those states that are between the, the degrees, we can be under the total control of the Creator, because when I'm in the degree, it, uh, there's me, the Creator, the group, the environment, all those things are somehow interconnected, and there's something, <laughs> there are changes that I'm in, that I'm, in, that I'm taking part of, whereas the transition from one degree to another, there, you're under the authority of the upper, completely. So, here we have to lower one's head, like Rabbi Akiva said, and under each and every wave, and then they bring you to the carry to the new, a new shore.